In this part, I want to categorize all the instruments and tools into uh, three uh, major or general different parts. And in this case, I want to tell you about the performance and function of each of them. And I will, after that, actually, after my writing, I I'm going to explain all those things in detail for you. So first of all, I can just uh, categorize it based on these things. The first one is gauges. The second one is transmitters. And then we have switch. Now I'm going to elaborate all these things to you. And it means how we can just uh, use them based on uh, their performance and function. The first one, gauge. It's a type of uh, tool or instrument that just, just measure something mechanically. It means that there is no signal or there is no wire or I don't know, there's no uh, things for that to transfer the signals to somewhere else. It is just uh, installed at a site, you know, at a, you know, a specific place. And after that, it shows something mechanically. In broad terms, I can just tell you that it has just some kind of pointer. And based on the changes uh, of, you know, uh, the, the, the fluids related to, you know, physical parameters of fluids such as pressure, temperature, and things like that, the pointer is going to actually move forward or backward. Uh, for elaborating, I'm just writing something for you. Sorry, I'm not really good at painting, actually. But uh, I can just write something here for you. You know, it has just a pointer, as I told you, and it shows, you know, at the site, you know, uh, you know, at that location, uh, what's the parameter is. So, next one, transmitter, is similar to the gauges based on, you know, its measurement and showing the amount. I mean, it's a kind of, you know, system or it's a kind of tool or instrument that can show and measure uh, the amount of, you know, uh, physical parameter of a uh, fluid. For example, it can be used for case of pressure, temperature, flow, and many other things. Apart from the thing that I told you, I can just uh, mention this item as well. This one has some cables or wires to transfer the signals to somewhere else. I mean, control room. It means that after measuring and, you know, uh, detecting the amount of, you know, physical parameter at the site, this one is able to send, you know, a signal to somewhere else. So, let me just uh, draw it in this case. As I told you before, it can, for example, have a display to show something. You know, it has display, for example, in this case. And finally, it has, for example, some wires to send the signal to, for example, control room. Control room is a place where there are, for example, some control systems and, you know, monitors, you know, computers, PCs uh, to monitor and supervise all the things that happen at the site. So, next one, switches. These things are totally, you know, necessary and vital if you want to guarantee the protection and safety at your site. Just imagine uh, there is a drum or there is a vessel in which, for example, you have, you know, some, uh, you know, fluids such as, you know, crude oil or, I don't know, other types of things. Just imagine this drum is going to be pressurized. So that's for sure. If, you know, the amount of pressure is more than the tolerance of the uh, vessel or, you know, drum, uh, that's for sure, you know, the drum is going to be exploded. So, but we do not really want to do this one at the side because it's really dangerous to happen. So for sure, we need to have, you know, some switches for case of protection, uh, protection which are uh, always used and installed at the top of the, uh, you know, uh, vessel or drum. That's for sure there, they have, you know, uh, some types of set points. Just imagine, for example, 10 bar. And that's for sure. When the service uh, pressure is going to be reached to 10 bar, you can find an alarm from this device, which is sent to a uh, control system. And in this case, the operators will be notified or will be announced or will be al alerted about the things that happen at the site. 
in this case they can you know have you know their related reaction to these things I don't know maybe in this case uh, you can imagine a valve which has been you know installed at the outlet of the vessel it's going to be open and depressurize the amount of pressure at the uh, vessel so it's so important to be used you know and in the project so let me just draw something here for you it's just imagine it's a switch there have you know some wires again and again let me just uh, change my color write some things in red color we have signal and that's for sure it's going to be transferred to the control room to notify and announce operator about the things that happen you know at the site so back to the things and you know compare all these three items with each other you can find that you know gauge doesn't have any signal as i told you before because you know it is just measured mechanically but these two things have some signals maybe one of the most important questions that may shape for you here is that okay what's the signal it means that how we can transfer uh, the related data of these devices into control room so here i want to categorize the related signal for you 